hi everyone the activation functions are um, uh, here very useful to activate the neurons in given neural network one of the activation function is here binary step activation function or it is called unit step activation function and another name is here uh, threshold based activation function because this activation function is using threshold for uh, uh, for finalizing the class of the given problem statement so it is called threshold based classifier or threshold activation function based activation function if the input value is above or below a given uh, threshold value then the neuron will be activated and sends that calculated output to the next layer here suppose if you are having the neuron like this then we will use the uh, linear sum here from the given inputs and we are applying the linear activation function then the output of this neuron is going to pass into the next layer right here the activation function f of x equal to uh, categorizing the given data point as a positive class whenever which is which is greater than 0 so here 0 is the threshold value then whenever we are getting less than 0 then we can predict that given data point is a negative class okay so this is about this one so some uh, then what about the 0 so we have to use uh, 0 here x less than g or equal to 0 as a negative class so if, if your threshold value is 1 then we can fix f of x equal to 1 whenever uh, our x is greater than or equal to 1 right uh, otherwise we can make it as a negative class if whenever x is less than 1 so here the threshold value is we set as a 1 so uh, this classifier is based upon the threshold value uh, which is uh, classifying the given data set by using the uh, predicted output so here it is very simple and useful to classify the binary uh, classification problem statements and it is not allowed multi-value outputs that means it cannot support to classify the uh, multi-class classification problem statement the given uh, uh, activation function graph is to showed here you look at that the this is having either positive class or negative class this is belongs to negative class 0 this is belonging to positive class 1 uh, based upon the uh, given threshold value 0 so this is called binary state activation function or threshold based activation function and another one activation function is here a linear activation function which is a simple straight line activation function where the function is directly proportional to the weighted sum of neurons so weighted sum means w i x i plus the equal to w i 1 x 1 plus etc w n x n so weighted sum of the neurons okay so the linear activation functions are better in giving wide range of activations on a line of a positive slope so here we are using the positive slope here which is increasing the firing rate as the input rate increase you look at that here we are getting the minus 8 comma minus 8 minus 6 comma minus 6 minus 4 comma minus 4 like that 0 comma 0 then 2 comma 2 4 comma 4 8, 6 comma 6 8 comma 8 so based on that our f of x equal to the same input value x but its range is from minus infinity to plus infinity when cannot use this linear activation function if we want to apply the delta rule that means back propagation to uh, use the gradient descent we cannot use this linear activation function because when you are applying the partial derivation over the x then we will get constant okay so if you have the constant it is not having the relation to the input that means uh, if we need the relative relation to the input when you are applying the uh, uh, partial derivative on the error with respect to wi okay if you are getting the constant like a 2 right for when you are derivating the x you will get the 1 
okay you will get the one then we cannot use uh, to find out the relationship with the input features here so uh, we cannot use this linear activation function to uh, apply the gradient descent to understand and understand the weights which are useful to learn the uh, complex patterns from the neurons okay for better prediction so we cannot use the uh, gradient descent algorithm during the backward propagation and when you are using the uh, linear activation function here in the layers all the layers if you are using the linear activation function uh, then here also you will get the same value x then here also when you are using the linear activation function you will get the x f of x equal to x so you will not get a different value okay whatever number of uh, layers you are getting you are getting the same value here also you are getting uh, output as a x here also you are getting output as a x still here also in the linear uh, f of x will be again x so you see uh, the uh, layer 1 is also giving say out same output 2 3 all the layers are giving you same output so which is not giving you uh, different values so this linear activation function turns into a yeah, just one layer so whatever number of layers are you are using the output you are getting from the first unit is the uh, output in all the layers so what it makes it makes the neural network with linear activation function simply a linear regression model it has a limited power and ability to handle complexity when you are varying the parameters of input data so the linear activation function is not usable in this two different situations thanks for watching